you know, the title itself, like the hard road will take you home, was a mantra, something that was spoken to me at the top of a grassy hill by a, a commander at the time in the Royal Marines. It was something, the speech that he delivered that you, know, you could hear a pin drop on this bottom field. And, you know, he talked about life and, and how difficult things are and how putting yourself through adversity and, and difficult, challenging situations really do help you develop and form as an individual. For, for, for him to say, sort of, don't take that easy option, stop looking for shortcuts, the hard road will fucking take you home. Taking, looking at things and not looking for an easy option, that's where the fucking beauty lies in life. And, and he's exactly right. Tell me about the book. Obviously, we we can't uh, we can't finish without the book. Uh, I mean, I, I know we've, we've we've referred to some uh, some of the uh, the chapters and some of the activities uh, you know whilst we've been having this chat. But where where did the um, not so much the idea, but I mean, when, when did you decide to write a book and, and and what was the logic behind it at the time? I think um, you know I started writing the book sort of sixteen months ago. You know. When I looked at it and was approached by, you know, uh, the agency and other people to write a book, again, it was something that I was like, not interested in, but, you know, what have, what have I got to share? And actually when my friends and other people sat me down and were like, look, you know, what you've actually done is there's, there's, there's actually a, quite an incredible story there in terms of your upbringing, you know, the football, the military, special forces, now into business, everything's going well and life and, and the stories and the learnings that, that could be passed on there. So that was the kind of initial idea and the concept and look, you know, again, kudos to Anne and Foxy and Ollie and Billy, the guys there that have really stuck their head above the parapet. And for me, they've really like blazed a trail for the rest of the people that do leave the military and want to pursue other careers as well. So, and in terms of writing the books, you know, Anne's had huge success and Foxy, and but they've been quite different in their in their books and their approaches and, and kind of the, their teachings and methodology and everything else. And you know, Anne's a super positive, inspiring individual, and his books lean into that you know, and the confidence side of things. And, and you know, and Foxy talks about, you know, his battles and struggles that he had with mental health, which has obviously helped a vast amount of people, myself included. And for me, it was like, well, what can I add? What value can I add to people? And it's it's about, you know, when we break everything down, having that sort of self-belief in yourself, but also, you know, um, learning, that, you know, the title itself, that the hard road will take you home, was a mantra, something that was spoken to me at the top of a grassy hill by a, a commander at the time in the Royal Marines. It was something, the speech that he delivered, that you, know, you could hear a pin drop on this bottom field. And, you know, he talked about life and, and how difficult things are and how putting yourself through adversity and, and difficult, challenging situations really do help you develop and form as an individual, you know, and he was sort of saying, look, you're in the right place right now. You've all chosen to be here for the right reasons. You know, this process is hard and it's difficult, but, you know, and as cliched or as it sounds, it, it's for, for, for him to say sort of don't take that easy option. Stop looking for shortcuts. The hard road will fucking take you home. Taking, looking at things and not looking for an easy option. That's where the fucking beauty lies in life. And, and he's exactly right. And I've taken that mantra with me through life and everything that I I've tried to apply it to everything that I do. And, and business is exactly the same as well. Stop looking for fucking short, easy, quick wins because, you know, nine times out of ten, they're, they're exactly that. Just a short, quick win that doesn't have longevity, that has nothing, no substance or no meaning meaning and you know i've actually learned quite a lot through the military that that are applicable to life as well so in each chapter you know i try and talk about or give you an example from life from military and from business and there's a story from each one and i attach it to that specific chapter in particular and talk about the things that i've learned you know hopefully that it comes across in the right manner it's uh, with humility and sort of you know my fuck ups my learnings you know what i did what i did right what i did wrong what i learned how i've become better and developed as an individual as well and how ultimately i've i've applied that now into business moving forward did you have a particular process for writing the book or did you know, any any of the other boys help you out with any with any of their ideas yeah so again with, with everything in life you need help you need support you know and i've been very fortunate i had an incredible ghostwriter um uh, matt who was brilliant he was actually foxy's ghostwriter who put me in touch with him and he was Nims's uh, ghostwriter I think he did Usain Bolt as well and um, you know I, I went through this process with Matt and, and it, it you know we, uh, there's a lot of this at the time it was COVID we were a lot of zooms and chats and talking and he kind of draws the 
information that it requires from me and we kind of started shaping the book in terms of how i wanted it to look and be presented by tone you know the things that i'd learned along the way and how we would then structure the chapters and everything else and uh you know he was a huge part of that you know i had also help from inside here i'd have friends trusted opinions that i would lean into uh for advice on certain elements of the book or chapters and louis to cross check things i had george here as well um who worked for us who's um, an avid reader and, and a, again a trusted opinion uh, a master of the written word somebody that would give me honest reliable feedback and you know that and it just takes ages lots of tweaking changing and that doesn't sound right oh, that's not quite the message that i'm trying to get across can we tweak it change it and you know it's a long process process and it was actually um it was a it was an enjoyable process as well you know to, to kind of you know to, to go through that you know, it was like nostalgic as well thinking about the past and what it had taught me and you know a lot of things that actually upon reflection have really helped me and things that I thought I could pass on and, and hopefully pass on to other people as well through, through the text. Mm-hmm.